Hey guys, Crazy Man here, and welcome to episode 10 of The Great Factory in the Sky Let's Play. I did something a little derpy. I accidentally left my computer running a lot. <laughs> um, we do have a lot of resources now, though, so that's good. But I, I kind of feel a little cheaty doing that. But I'm going to keep it because it's nice to have anyway. So we've we've even still got a little sand left processing after all the hammers broke and everything. So let's go ahead and shut this off, set it to right click instead of left. There we go. And yeah, we have a ton of stuff now. <laughs> this is a little ridiculous. Uh, tons of Certus Quartz. Um, okay, let's just get this iron processed up. And I'm not even going to bother with the extra hammering and everything now that we've got ore doubling in this thing, which I'm going to expand. So let's see. I've got a little bit of snow in there that's breaking it, isn't it? Let's see. We've got 160 millibuckets of blood. What happened there? Did something happen? Huh. I think a skeleton wandered in there or something. But, um, oh yeah. I apologize for not releasing too many videos the last long time. I've been kind of struggling to find time to record and everything. So let's just break and replace that and that'll clear it out and it keeps the fuel because it's stored in a different block. So we just throw all of our iron ore sand in here and I think I'm going to make a different thingy for this though, for the top here. Let's take this and smelt it up. So I'll put two charcoal in there, two in there, and we're going to use some glass here. I think I want to make the side, at least one side of this uh, seared glass, which is just seared glass. It's just five glass and then the seared bricks, and it looks cool. So I'll use it. Let's see, this is almost done. Uh, what's on the agenda for this episode? Let's see, we just got our power setup done and our Tinker's Tools station. Awesome. Hmm. Okay, uh, give me a second to gather my thoughts after I expand this wall a little and do all of that and finish pouring up all of this iron. Oh yeah, also, I decided that glass is taking too much. So I just made it. I made three of it. Oh, I don't want to do that yet, do I? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, that was weird. I got horrible frame rate for a second. Oh, it's happening again. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Um, yeah, I made a bunch of bronze. That's that's not really that great. But okay, I have a thing we can do here using. Hopefully, we have some fluid ducts. No, we don't. Of course, we don't. So, fluid ducts, I believe, are copper, which conveniently we turned into... Okay, we have some here. Copper and lead. So we just take these and do this. That'll get us some fluid ducts. Fluid ducts can be used on this thing, right here, to transfer liquids. But we don't want that connecting there, so close that off. Activate that, and we want ourselves a nice little lever. So let's go ahead and make a lever. No, not that. There we go. Dang it. Okay. Um, sure. This will go here. Boom. And that'll fill it up really fast. Haha. -ha. There we go. And we can just sit here and right click on this. Or we can put a hopper under it. And that'll pull it out too. How much more bronze do we have? Well, it's nice that we have bronze, because bronze is useful for something. Um, crap. Bronze isn't useful for much, is it? Ah, reactant dynamos. Okay. That uses fluid, fuel, and solid reactant. I don't actually know how that works. We'll have to figure it out. Ooh, and tesseracts are made with bronze and upgrades. So there's some useful stuff. Good. Now I don't feel terrible because that was a lot of tin and everything that just got turned into bronze. How much exactly? 
13 ingots and a nugget. Well, that's fortunate. At least we got a bunch of tin and stuff before that happened. So four more ingots. I'll just do this for the last four ingots. Oh, crap. No, I won't. Will I? Okay. What? That's a bug. I think that is a bug because it turned all my tin into copper. Okay. Yeah. Don't use that a lot because it will... Or not copper, bronze. It's a little buggy, looks like. Oh, no. It's just trying to scare me. I don't know what's going on here. Let's let's turn that off. And it still outputs. Okay. Ah, uh, stop it. There we go. Is the thing empty now? I hope so. Okay, you got to be careful with these things. They're a little weird. Um, hopefully, when I go to install the next update, that will be fixed. So let's go ahead and do that again. I think I'll put a chest right there and a hopper under it. So let's go get that. That's really easy to make. All we need is some wood. Make a chest and then hopper it. And for whatever reason, my frame rate is acting really weird now. I don't know why. Let's get another chest. It's suddenly dropping, and that's not normal anymore. I mean, it was it was completely normal before I got this computer, but now that's weird. Okay, so this copper should finish melting, and then this thing will fill up like instantly, and then we'll have copper going into the thing. It should tell me what's in there. Do I have to hold this? No. Here we go. Block of copper. So we've got auto processing set up for ores, which will be really nice. Uh, but it's, it's only in blocks, so if we have a weird number of stuff, it'll have some stuck in there. Like that. Well, for now we can just break and replace, and it steals it, of course. But auto processing is always awesome and very welcome. We're going to have to try to use up all of our non-Tinker's Construct ingots because that's going to bug the crap out of me, having separate stacks. So now on to today's project, since I've wasted a bunch of time with this already, which I think is going to be a nice, reliable source of food. Well, we have... We, actually, we can just bone meal stuff for now. I'll wait until later because I have another project I want to do right now. Um, I have a, uh, a need for enchantments. Enchantments are awesome, especially fortune, because if I can put a fortune tool inside of one of these autonomous activators and then pull it out, repair it, and stuff, then I can more than double my ore stuff. Fortune works on this dust stuff. But there's also other enchantments that are nice, like I want to have protection and stuff for fighting the wither and stuff like that. So I think our best way to handle that would be... Mm, do we have soul shards on here? I do not believe that we have soul shards. So I think our best way would be an auto spawner. Mm, where's the auto spawner? Ah, there it is. The auto spawner needs some emeralds, some magma cream. Can we make that? Let's see. Can be made with a slime ball and blaze powder. I know we have blaze powder, but do we have slime balls somehow? I don't think we do. Anywhere, actually. Hmm. So I actually don't know how we're going to do that. But I'm sure there's a way. I mean, if we have to resort to it, I think the map has a way to tell us where slime chunks are and we can build a spawning platform there. And also, I kind of want to go to those clouds. Because those clouds are awesome. 
they uh, if you land on them, they stop all fall damage. Just boom. You didn't take any damage. Good job. Um, so first thing I want to do is get a great. Wait. Do we not have? Or no, it's a drain. Okay, yeah. A drain. Yeah, XP drain right here. Need some iron bars. Oh my gosh, I don't know if we have any iron, guys. Oh wait, we have a ton. So we take our iron bars and make ourselves a, an XP drain. Then we're going to want. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get a cobblestone machine and put it in obsidian mode. Make me some obsidian, dang it! I need four. This is much, much easier than what I was doing before. And why am I running back and forth from a portable tank? Okay, I'll just do this. Okay, so you've got my obsidian. Now we need water, don't we? Well, I will have to do some running back and forth. But it's okay. I'm going to get some obsidian made. Let's see, I've got three here and the one piece. I need a fifth. There we go. And I'll get that water. There we go. You've got four obsidian. Now I can pick this back up. And haha, I actually picked it up. Stupid vacuum hopper always stealing my stuff. That's not good. Let's fix that. Boop. There we go. And throw this bucket in here. Um, this is functioning, right? You've got cobblestone. Oh, you're almost out. Here, have a stack. Some more. And I think, actually, pretty soon we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to be able to get ourselves all of the compressed cobblestone that we need for our, uh, portal to the deep dark, which is something I'm, I'm working on. Unfortunately, it takes four unstable ingots, which is iron and divided by diamond. How do you make a semi-stable nugget? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's more expensive. Small enough to contain the powerful energies produced by dividing by diamond. You can use these to craft a stable, unstable ingot that will not explode. Yeah, that's expensive though. Instead of one diamond per ingot, then it turns into nine per ingot. You can use them to craft easily though. The way the unstable ingots work is they explode after 10 seconds if they're in your inventory for too long. And they're just really hard to craft with, but we're going to have to craft with them later, so we're going to have fun with that. But for everything from enchanting to getting more XP, which uh, actually, before I move on, I should actually make the thing I was going to make with this obsidian. I did that wrong. Tank. Oh, it's glass panes. There we go. Almost got it right, but not quite. Okay, so we take our tanks. And I think I'm going to do this in here. For now, at least. Let's just throw this here. Boom. Then we can run some fluid ducts down here. One right here. And then our XP drain. And we stand on here, after connecting the thing. Will that not connect? It won't, will it? Okay, so we're going to have to do stuff with this. Um, which stuff is kind of difficult to do. There we go. Okay, that was way easier than what I was expecting. What was I expecting? I don't know. But we need another lever. And flip. There we go. And this will hold all of our experience for now. So every time we get some XP, we just come over here and dump it into this tank. And if you want levels, you right click, boom, boom, gives you a level. And take some of the XP away. And it is the exact same amount of XP per level here, like 8 to 80. Take a bunch of levels, go back up, you should be back 
to 280. Yep. So it doesn't, like, it will drain more XP per level. Like, if I drain, it gets faster and faster the more I drain. So I should stop doing this because it's getting annoying going and refilling it over and over again. There we go. But now that we've got a safe place to store our XP where we can't lose it when we die, I think that it is time to get ourselves a mob farm. A working one, not one that kills us every time we try to kill any mobs. So we've got tons of cobblestone and a lot of nice stuff. Let's not lose it. Let's let's put our stuff in a safe place. Let's put our stuff in a safe place. Ugh. And make a chest. This will be our storage chest while we're working. There we go. And a nice pickaxe, sword. Uh, we'll keep some food on us. And we'll just grab a few stacks of cobble. Oh, almost left the armor on. We'll grab a few stacks of cobble, which should get refit. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Which should get refilled by this thing. Assuming we put the water back in it. Ah. I left the bucket in here. I meant to put one last bit of water in there, but I didn't. Boom. There we go. Now we've got some cobble. We can put all this up. I'll just keep this in the storage chest so I don't lose a bunch of it if I if that happens. So we're going to be around here a lot. Um, let's go ahead and make our fall platform over here. And I think... Hmm. I think. That's all I do. Uh, I think where I want to have them land is like right here. Maybe, in this little square here. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, so we can have this thing here, where they land. And autonomous activators will kill mobs that they hit. So we can use that to our advantage. Or, uh, we'll not only kill mobs, but they'll drop XP is what I meant to say. Uh, so that means we can use those to farm experience. And then we put a vacuum hopper down. And those are also capable of picking up XP. So let's count these blocks. Let me just do some building. Okay. If I've done my math right, this should leave me with half a heart. Oh, one heart. Well, close enough because they're going to be like jumping around and stuff. I just built some ladders up there. So we've got an almost kill drop and a nice place to start building from. So I'm going to build out the branches of this, and I think I'm just going to be doing like a simple mob farm like in vanilla. So we'll break this and start building. Okay, I built out all of this, but I need to get down now. So Geronimo, I got this. I can't believe I overshot that. Dang it. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't have any XP on me. And I can actually just do this. Haha. -ha. So now we've got our platform built. We can start actually working on it. Oh, and let's let's get up there before things start spawning on us. Here, here, come on, let me hit it. There we go. Anything spawn while I was away? Good. Just go ahead and throw this last ladder in here, and I can clean up the platform. And next thing I'm going to need are some ladder, or some conveyor belts. Why did I say ladders? Uh, conveyor belts from Mine Factory Reloaded. And we're safe as long as we are up here. So, conveyor belt. Uh, this one. Which is this. We need rubber bars, an iron ingot, and some redstone. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult, except for maybe the redstone. I think we're safe. Still a bit low on that. Um, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Are you serious? I am so good at that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm terrible. I am terrible at jumping. I'm usually good at parkour, but... 
I'm playing on a higher field of view, or lower field of view, I mean, than I usually play on, which was 90. I guess that might have thrown me off, or I'm just crazy. But we need some redstone, which we have in pretty good supply. I'll get four sets of these. That'll get me a stack. And then I need some iron and rubber bars, which are easy enough to make. You just take this, 12 of them, and then we smelt them up. And to smelt things, we need this. So let's smelt up some of this. Take half of it out and smelt it in this one. Just to be nice and fast. And I bet we are already getting some mobs falling. Yep. Hey, there's our first bit of XP from the farm. Let's go ahead and drain it off into the tank. There we go. Got a little bit more XP juice. Oh, spiders. You're surviving, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> not surviving any longer. Okay, let's go ahead and seal this up. We can deal with those guys in a bit. But hopefully we won't need to very much. So we take our rubber bars, bring them along the top, and for now I'll just show you how these work. Because I don't have all of them yet. You lay them down, and they face the direction that you place them. And they will move anything that is on them from items to players and items cannot be picked up when they're on these so you see how I can't pick it up and now I can pick it up so that's how these things work but the best part is they'll work on mobs so I just heard a creeper fall so let's take care of that Die. Die. There we go. Is it safe to open? Haha, -ha, look at our mob farm working. Okay, so they're just wandering in here. We've got tons of them spawning. Um, let's go ahead and skip to daytime. So we can kill any nasty mobs that are up there. Come on, there we go. Now everything should be burning and the Endermen should be teleporting like derps. Okay, I'll poke you and then run in here. You not mad at me? Bonk. No, they're not mad. And they can't they can't teleport like anywhere else. Huh. Awesome. I'll put this stuff on just in case though. Ow. Stop being mad at me. You said you weren't mad at me. There we go. Got a heart. Ender pearls. Ender pearls everywhere. Come on. Ow. Ow. And no. Haha. -ha. You can't get me. Yay, I got a new hat. Let's put it on. Ooh, I have a lot of hats. Direwolf20, he's really cool. You should check out his channel if you've never heard of him before. Wow, I have a lot. Universe pumpkin. Ooh, I like that. Straw hat. Tentacool. One man army. Ah, nuke. Slime hat, soda top, leprechaun hat, jester. Where's my arrowhead? There's my arrowhead. I kind of got hit, so let's show it. And then we can just open this up and whack any mobs that are still in here. Ugh. Ugh. Much scare. Okay. Spiders spawning may be a bit of a problem because they're not going to die from the fall. Not guaranteed, anyway. That one did. So let's head up there and take care of anything that is still alive. Then we can lay down these nice conveyor belts and get this thing automated more with the dropping down of stuff. Come on. Come on, don't blow up. Die. Die. Oh crap, there's an angry ender tot over there. Okay. Crap. No, don't you, don't you even think about it. Oh my gosh, so many mobs. Why are they all here? I guess when you only have one location to spawn enemies at, they're all gonna appear there. Okay. Uh, wow. Oh my gosh, spiders everywhere. 
Why are they mad at me? Don't be mad. Oh my gosh, look at all this loot. I love it. We got four levels again already. Okay, so next we need to put down the conveyor belts. Which they will wander onto and then haplessly fall to their doom. No, don't push me to my doom. I don't deserve doom. These things deserve doom. There we go. So we need... Yeah, we needed that full set that we were going to make. We're going to. So when they land on these things, it should push them all the way down. Oh, did I make this 9 in this direction? It did. Well, a wall is going here, so that'll work. And I don't have any more. But for now... Oh crap, no. No, don't do that. There we go. You can kind of resist them if you're careful. Oh my gosh, there's Endermen everywhere. I need to put a too high roof on that thing. Crap, no, I didn't mean to look at you, you jerk. Ah, there we go. He went away. Ooh, yeah. Your tox die from that. So you die. You all die. And give me nice things. Ow. That could have been the end of me right there. There, went, there would have been five levels gone from that. So let's fix that. There we go. 1v1! I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay, and maybe I don't got this. I got it. Ha ha ha. Okay, enough fighting for now. We need to make this thing not get us almost killed every few seconds. So I don't want to eat that. Let's put that away. Um, apples. That'll work. I love apples. Don't teleport to me and try to get me killed, you jerks. Oh, and I figured out what those little green pouches are. They're XP in item form, apparently. Didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. Ah, God. Wait, I thought we had some stuff cooking in there, but I guess not. Okay, so the rest of that rubber should be done cooking. We can get that done. And I'll go lay lo those things out. And we will get to the next stuff that we're going to be doing, which is going to be putting a roof on that thing. Which, for that, we need more cobblestone, like just as much as we used, and then a few more stacks. And will you guys stop being in my base? I'm getting good at fighting those things. They are not pushover at all. They're definitely a tough enemy. They are worthy of battle. So, I will see you once I've put a nice roof on this thing, so that Endermen will stop spawning. And Ender Pearls are nice to have, but we'll create a separate farm for that. And I've got the conveyor belts laid out. There we go. Uh, I've got the things laid out, and oh my gosh, my frame rate. Okay, we're getting... And of course, that guy drops a bow. The thing that we needed to fight him, he gives us. Well, at least we can kill all of his friends. Because his friends are evil too. There we go, get the last of these things in. And that should make it so that we can get mob farming done. And I bet as soon as I go back into... Oh, I made this 9 also. Well, I'm going to close it off because... I only want it to be 64 by, or, yeah, 64 blocks in this, no, that's way more than 64 blocks. That's 10 by 10, so this is 100, or no, more than 10 by 10. 18 by 18? Yeah, 18 by 18, which I don't feel like multiplying right now. But now we need to put torches on the top of that, which is going to be a pain. Uh, so let's grab our torches and put up any valuable stuff, or semi-valuable. No, keep the torches. Don't need that, don't need the arrows. Bows are kind of useful, I guess. Um, and just go up there with this and some torches. And let's not get shot off of this platform here. There we go. 
Nope, don't go in there. Break that and fill it in. There we go. This should let us get all the way over to the side. And we'll torch this up. And we'll hit F7 to make sure that everything is nice and lit. And we can actually put this ladder to use once we get up to here. There we go. I hit F7, right? Oh, my computer is derpy and doesn't like it when I reboot it. Uh, whenever I shut down my computer, it resets the function key, so I have to go hit function lock again, which is annoying. And obnoxious and all those bad things that I don't like. Uh, can we scoot this over one block without hurting anything? Yes we can. I want to be a little conservative with my torches here because I don't know. I don't actually know why. I have tons of charcoal. I don't need to worry about this at all. So let's fix all this up and get back down here. There we go. Functional mob farm, and we've got a creeper waiting for us down there. Oh my gosh, I left it open. No, 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 this is bad. Okay. Nope. I'm leaving. Um, what do we do? How do you fix when this happens? How do you fix that problem? Huh. Well, we've got creepers everywhere. Skeletons camping the chest. So let's jump down. No! Oh no. Okay. This is not good. We left our mob farm open. Hey, cool, a record. Awesome. Um. Okay. Let's go grab something. I've got weapons in here, right? Ah, this'll do. You should be almost dead. You should be almost dead. You guys should be one-shot kills also. Oh, you're so brokenly powerful. Nice, we got a record. Okay, let's just fill that in with a skull. No! Oh, why do they explode so fast after falling? That is terrible. Terrible. Oh no, and my thing didn't have a place to spawn, did it? Okay. Ow. Okay. Mob apocalypse. Mob apocalypse. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh my gosh. Red chew jelly. Hey, cool. I don't know what that's from, but I have it now. Okay, I have no idea how much stuff I just lost. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, it's not an unbearable loss, though. We will recover. We will recover the lost items. Eventually. Like I said, they were... Oh, that was so much stuff. I don't even know what all I lost. Yep, this really sucks. I was not expecting that to happen at all, and they just flooded my base with mobs. So, let's do some repairs. Oh, that sucks. It sucks so bad, he blew up the chest. All the things that could have happened there, he blew up the chest. I'm just gonna fill this in with cobblestone, because void is bad. There we go. And... Oh, almost done. There we go. Okay, sorry about that little cut there. I had a little bit of stuff to take care of real quick.
test. 